What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I'm Chris. That's Mike. We are talking The Walking Dead. This is our rewatch, react, Walking Dead, of, uh, season one of Walking Dead, I should say. Uh, this is episode four, Vatos. Vatos Locos forever, bro. That's right, man. Mikey, what'd you think of this, yes. this thing, man? <laughs> I enjoyed this episode, even though it is my least favorite of the first oh, season. Okay. So what do you think about that? Wow. Buddy. Yeah. No, there was a lot of good, you know, the Vato, the Vatos thing, and we'll get into that kind of, there was some things that. You didn't like that. I didn't enjoy. Okay. But there was a lot of good dialogue with the Amy and Andrea talking when they were fishing and how they learned how to fish and all this kind of right. stuff. And we got some cool stuff out of, out of Jimmy. And even Dale had like a little thing when he was talking about the, why do you carry that watch? And why do you wind the watch and all this kind of stuff? So there was a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool Walker kills. Yeah. Um, but just, you know, the Vatos thing kind of, what, you know, what do you think? Obviously this is, this is about you. About me. I, all right. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to just take a step back and, and, I'm, and I'm agree with you. There are a lot of cool things in here mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. the Rick and Daryl face off in the beginning. Um, yeah. finding out what happened to Merle, like how, how, you know, we followed his trail essentially Glenn's yeah. plan to get the guns, um, like all that stuff was like that whole part that was amazing to me. We can jump on back that if, in, in a minute if you want. So the Vatos thing, yeah. Um, initially when they got jacked and you know, and Glenn's plan goes horribly awry, I was like, I'm like, ah, oh, really? Like I, I kind of thought the same thing. I'm like, stereotypical like Spanish gang. Like that was, I was like, that- it, was, it was bad. There were Spanish guys that really couldn't play Spanish guys. Yeah, well and that was one- part of it. That was part <laughs> the of one it. guy. The one guy. Um- Felipe, not the main, like the leader. Yeah, the, the, the guy that. I think his name was Felipe. I I think that's all he plays. Oh, that dude? Yeah, he's, yeah, the bald dude. Yeah, he's, yeah. yeah he's, that's all he plays, which, hey. He's you know typecast. What I mean? Hey, he's working, man. He's working. You know what I'm that's saying? What he's I, an actor. He's working. Um, I think I've seen an interview <laughs> with that guy. He's, he seems like a cool dude. Uh, he's been around for a while, though, man. Maybe, maybe before. Yes. I don't know. Anyway, point is, see, I, I didn't like that. But it got us to a point, and then the whole standoff thing where Rick goes just goes in there. I'm like, what? I'm like, <laughs> kind of. But then the then, second time you're talking about the second time, I mean, yeah, they just walk they into just this. Walk like, in. Three of them walk into this, um, door, this room or whatever, this building, right? And, and this has hundred of the Vatos guys. And, and then, just and the best part is that that kid, that kid Miguel was his name. They they cover yeah. his mouth. And tie him up. But the first time they didn't. Like, what? It anyway, was a little weird. That was dumb. But then the grandma comes out. Oh, and, I, and I was like, oh, 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 oh. And then, it, you know, the, the you know, plot twist, it turns out that it's a convalescent home. And I yeah. actually really enjoyed that. And that well, and this- that dude is just, I forget the, the dude's name. But that I like that guy. That guy is a cool actor. I've seen him before, obviously. It turns out he was the janitor. And the other guy, and I think Felipe. Yeah, was, the other guy was a nurse, he yeah. said. Yeah, I, I listen, like that was cool. Like I, I that was, was a, a twist. twist. Man, I thought it was a little odd, especially let me let me point this out to you. When they first go there and they like, we have one of yours, you have one of ours, show us that he's still okay, kind of a thing. And they're dangling Glenn over a ledge of the the, the yeah, rooftop of the yeah. building with a bag over his head. Right. And then two seconds later, we find out that these guys are actually doing good and they're taking care of these old folks and they're the only two that didn't leave. It was a little extreme. Started. And then Glenn's standing there like like nothing, like around this this poor guy that's helping out a- yeah. asthma medication. He's like, oh, he needs his asthma. You know? So it just – just like what Rick said to the to the main to the leader guy, I forgot his name. Yeah, I don't I remember. remember He's like, dude, you are the you must be the stupidest son of a bitch that I've ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we were gonna yeah. kill each other, and meanwhile, you you're good people and you're doing what's right. But I um, mean, but again, but so his. Little, I just thought they did it. It could have been done a different way, and I think that's Maybe. what always Maybe. I had like a little. But know. his response to that was was. Think about it, man. They did that because it's like they've been burned before. They were probably nice previously, and and people probably died because people are a holes. And so he had to really like protect that. Yeah. And plus, supplies are getting low. People are leaving. Yeah. People come and going. So I mean, I don't blame him, but I did enjoy that plot twist because it was like, oh, they're gonna do this whole thing, and then it was like, oh, yeah. oh, this is very different. <laughs> I like the. Yeah. What did you think of the joke with the dogs? He's like, got these dogs are ready to eat them. So funny. I was just gonna say. I that. thought you were being eaten by dogs. By yeah, I left. It's like them. It's like ah, ah. Yeah, and you see these good. three little little chihuahuas. Um, 
Yeah. So yeah, anyway, I mean, that was that was I I enjoyed that and that you know, give him the guns and stuff, and of course, Daryl's all pissed off about it, but. Yeah, I mean that was pretty cool. Why don't we just? I want to talk about you mentioned uh, Jim. Yeah, and so you know, so he's digging the holes, and I had the same thought I had when I first saw it back mm-hmm. in 2010 or 11 when I ended up watching it. Yeah. Um, you know, I was like, oh, this guy wants to die. Like he he's just lost it. He wants to die. He lost his family, his wife, his kid, kid, mm-hmm. kids, whatever. He yeah. just he's like he's. But then I was like, oh wait, yeah, he had this premonition because you know, um, and you know. To just uh, you know i'm gonna sidetrack again and talk about how andrea and amy sitting in the in the boat talking every it, classic trope let's get to know a little more about a character before we end before, up having being eaten to death yeah. now this is what i feel about her being eaten to death she deserved it because what an idiot what an idiot she she gets the thing latches onto her arm and she's just staring at it and then it, bite, it bites her arm then the next shot is her on her knees being eaten you don't fight back. Like, what are you doing? She's like, ah. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I think it was done. too. It's like, it get was, out of here, bitch. Listen, it was. It's. You're it's done. still the infancy. No, I agree. It's still the infancy of the show. Wait, no, no, hold on, Mike. There, dude. There was a lot of red shirts. The guys that you never. Oh hell yeah, dude! I know. Getting, I know, yeah. getting chomped on. You know what I mean? It's. It, it's God, still Ed, the beginning Ed. of the show, and and Amy was like that sweet, cute. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there wasn't. No, not not. Um, from what we see now, the people don't have that same skills. They haven't lived in the apocalypse for so long. Right, Who knows yeah. what how Amy would have evolved or anything like that? But yeah, I mean, she went to go use the bathroom and and she got she got chomped on. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, so in this in this in that scenario in that scene when when the walkers just come out, what do you think of the whole Ed thing? And Ed was. Um, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that that's how he went. Like, pulp and Jimmy even mentioned, you know, what are you going to do to me, Shane? You're going to do the same thing that you did to, to Ed. That's that's um, he goes, that's their family. That's their business. What are you going to do to me? You know what I mean? That's such bull. It's such bull crap because he's like, you know, I mean, that was a cool scene, though, Shane, how he was trying to disarm Jim and, and everything <laughs> like that. That was a really cool she- scene yeah. showing that Shane. uh you know, like he's doing his best to be a decent guy. Like he could very yeah. easily just overpower everybody. Yeah. And no one would, no one would do a thing to stop him because they're all, mm-hmm. they're all babies. Right. Yeah. But you know, it's showing you that, you know, initially Shane, you know, Shane, Shane was a good guy. He just, you know, he just ends up losing it after a while, you know, like, but I mean, in this episode, yeah, he tried to just disarm him and he tried to do, do, do right by him. And he, tied him up that guy that plays jim i i forgot like that that's a cool dude i've seen that guy in other places like he he was that guy that jim that character is just like who the hell is this guy and then he just has these like these moments in this episode which is really cool yeah that it just made this episode pretty cool and then um yeah dude and then then and then the attack and then i just think it's crazy how so going back to merle like they're following that story like that was a great through line of mm-hmm. them being like, oh, he got, he cut his hand off. Oh, he cauterized the wound. Oh, he jumped out the window, uh, but not before knocking, you know, taking out two. It's it like it it tells more about Merle than than we ever would need to actually seeing him do this. And stuff. we haven't, and we didn't see him. That right. was it. And then he takes yeah, their truck. Until, he takes the box yeah, truck. He takes the box. <laughs> and truck they and, and they and they show up just as this this attack is happening, and it's like, wh- did you not yeah. think that this was going to happen? People are splashing in the water, fishing, fighting. Did you not think that they were going to find you? Eventually, of course, they were going to yeah, find eventually. you. Eventually, and it was quite a bit. It was quite a quite a quite a bit of walkers, number of walkers there, and it was. I mean, that was a, a really cool part of of this, as far as the yeah. special effects, the walkers, the walker that got Ed was really, uh, you know, really sick. They had those, and, like you said previously, those like close up ones. Yeah. So yeah. no, when Rick and everybody comes out of the woods and and kind of, you know. I guess save the day in the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost like I'm sure there's there might be some backlash on Rick and everybody for who knows what would happen. Maybe we wouldn't have lost Amy. Maybe we wouldn't have lost some of these other guys if Rick and them never would have left in the first place. Now you know look, I mean? they still would have gotten attacked. I mean, you can't. Amy was an idiot. Oh, she would have died but anyway. Maybe, but it would have it would have turned out a little bit differently because we would have had more numbers there. We oh, would have a, maybe had the guns that yeah. we do now. But in the end, it was. It was a, a, a big thing, uh, a big um, a save the day kind of thing with Rick and everybody coming. You know, coming yeah. Um, I have a question for you, though. 
Yeah. Um, do Do you think that after all we've seen and like now reliving like these these plot plot lines through these first you know bunch of episodes, mm-hmm. uh, do you think that to where we are now that they just don't have plots like this anymore? Do you feel the plots are similar to what they used to be? Because watching this again, I'm like, oh yeah, like that's a good plot. Like that was a good scene like that was a good way to do this and then and in my mind all the way up to season eight it's like i i've been laid on the train of, of dismissing this show but I, yeah. I know a lot of people like hate watch it you know my brother hate watches it i know a bunch <laughs> of people that don't even watch it anymore because they think it's dumb yeah. and, and in my you know i've been i've been holding on mm-hmm. and this this season i've just been like no this is dumb this is dumb. Like these I mean, you were, are dumb. you were a little bit you were a little bit more critical of this season than I was. Right. Obviously, if any whoever's watching, you guys that are watching, you can look back at you know our discussions of of season season eight, the first half. But I I think that the show listen. It's hard to it's hard to get um, these these plot lines. It's hard to get these stories with the characters from back in season one because. The show is growing, and it's you know different, I mean? right? It's I understand. It's hard to you don't want to you want you don't want to mimic it. You know what I mean? But I think that the show, I think after the Terminus thing, I think I love the Woodbury stuff. I loved season two with the Woodbury farm. was great. I just you know I love the governor, and we after we, did, we say that dude, bad, it's like a yeah. broken yeah, it's like a broken record with us because we always sit here and say, um, what you know about who the who the threat is what where the biggest threat is and obviously right. now it's the human it's the humans that want your stuff and that's how it's been for a number of seasons now and when we built up so much from the terminus thing because i did enjoy that i did enjoy remember when you first saw like the terminus map and we didn't know about what was going on there and this kind of build up was i enjoyed you yeah. know what I mean? I like that too. It, Even when they were in the, hard... the boxcar, I was like, oh my God, this is so good. And then it was like, boom, boom. They, they didn't spend more than a couple episodes there because Rick and them kind of got out of it yeah. relatively soon, thanks to thanks to Carol. But it's hard to compare. It really is hard to compare these classic seasons, these classic episodes to now. Let's hope that yeah. with this new showrunner that, that's on and, and that Gimple won't really have um, his his – his stock in this and his direction in this. Let's see if she can do something to spark it up. We actually got a couple questions about that um, in some of our other videos about that that exact right, yeah, that exact point. So, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough, um, it's a tough thing. But I'm, you know, I'm glad we're doing this. Yeah, regardless. this is this is fun. This is great. So yeah. this was we have two more for this season. Uh, mm-hmm. We're gonna finish out this season, and then we got a week before the. Uh, yeah. Uh, new season on uh, starts for season the mid season for season eight. Um. Yeah. So yeah. So no. Uh. We're gonna wrap this up now. I. I like I, again. I enjoy doing. I'm glad we're watching these. I'm looking forward to the CDC stuff. Um, That's enjoyable. I have one quick little. Question oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. For me. Go before, ahead. For for you. Yes. And I want you to throw out like a cool. You're you're just your idea and your potential theory of what would what, what happened to the vatos we never so we never see them after this yeah what, do you, gonna, what do you think pull up a cool story think of what what, what happened to these guys i think uh well i think what's gonna end up happening is it gets a little dire for them you have them turning um I, you know you know you know what happens one of the old people dies <laughs> in the building and it's just like everything else the one dies and runs rampant, turns others into, uh, you know, maybe more than one dies at, in one night. And you know what I mean? Because they're not going to get their med- medicines going to run out. Like it's, you know, mm-hmm. it's not, I'm not saying it happened the day after Rick left, but I'm saying, you know, that's, what's going to happen. Like they, 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 and then, and then whoever's left out of that are going to just, they're going to take off and go do something else and maybe start their own community. Maybe they'll find them again later. You never know. It'll be like, Oh dude. I mean, stupid. What's his name came back. Morales came back. So oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you Which never know. It's like fan service because I wouldn't mind. Calling. I wouldn't mind seeing that guy again. The, the leader it of the Vatos. That's time. what I kind of thought you were going to say. That's why I thought that would be yeah. like a little fun question to I ask. I wouldn't him. mind. I wouldn't mind. 
Yeah, and you guys let us know in your, in the comment section too. Answer that question. What do you think happened to the Vatos? And you know, listen, they had some kind of system going on. They said that they had their guys going out every day searching for supplies, but Fixing obviously eventually, and stuff, yeah. yeah, eventually things things uh, supplies will will run out. So let us know in the comment section uh, of this of the video, and let us yep. know what you think about these rewatches. Of course, at Third Person Pod on YouTube. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook as well, and have a listen on on iTunes. Absolutely. That's going to do it here for this episode of Rewatch React. Uh, season 1, we're doing episode 4 of The Walking Dead. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. And uh, we're going to see you on the next episode. So thanks, guys. Bye. We'll see you then.